Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. It's Wednesday, that means it's going to be a Blood Bowl uh, video. But we got something a little bit different today. So, just to let you know, what we've done is I had a go at an undead team. It's going to be the one straight out of the box. And Griff decided he was going to try changing up his team a little bit. So, your boy Griff went for a running orc team which consisted of let me get the team information here consisted of four blitzers three blockers one thrower four four linemen two re-rolls and one apothecary which was a million gold pieces so we had the same point value I was running two re-rolls and I had a fan factor of two, but it's the usual two mummies, the whites, ghouls, zombies and skeletons, the, what you get straight out of the box. So it was a fun game, it was nice to try out a different team, it was a different style of play to what I normally play, because as you guys know, my team is chaos, because I don't know what it is, it's just chaos rules no matter what. Whether it be the football pitch or whether it be the battle pitch. So, I've just told you we had re rolls, just told you the fan factor, just told you the teams. But I haven't told you where we played. And where we played is our new hangout, which is the Ronda Gaming Club. And here's the club details the Ronda Gaming Club. If you were in the South Wales area, this is the local club for you. We are playing Age of Sigma Blood Bowl, which is the important one. Blood Bowl, just to reiterate. 140k Age of Sigma. There was Warmer Hordes games being played as well. So there's a variety of uh, games being played. And also, I believe it's Thursdays, they do the uh, role playing night. So D&D, &D, Pathfinder, and any other game that you want to play speak to the uh, the members and they'll try and sort it out for you so like I said there are a fantastic bunch of people who are allowing us to video our games there hoping to do more videos with them on different game systems but they have told me that they're looking to do a startup AOS um, games so it's like it's going to be low points just build paint play something small get you interested if that's the type of thing you're interested in get in contact with them i believe they would also be looking to do it for 40k as well but they're allowing us to do the rbbl there which is going to be the league that we're setting up more details to come but yeah show them some support guys follow them on instagram follow them on facebook follow them on twitter let it be known that the noob sent you and get their profile up guys do it for me do it for your fellow gamers right guys now that I got that out of the way we've shown our support for the local club we've t given you a shout out at the beginning here we go it's going to be Orcs versus Undead me versus your boy Griff he's running Blocker Orcs Blocker and Blitzer Orcs I'm running straight out of the box and dead. Who do you think's going to win? Stay tuned and find out. Plus, a bit of forewarning now. Audio is pretty bad because the mic decided sometimes it didn't want to work, sometimes it wanted to work, sometimes it wanted to be right at the top so it sounds like we're shouting, sometimes it was really quiet. But bear with us and then just enjoy the show, guys. So that's all I've got to say. Take it away, boys. Right, guys, we're going into Orc Turn 1. I kicked off, and the match effect was Blitz Mover. So, moved up a little bit closer, ganging up on his Black Oak Blockers. Take some of the punch away. Hopefully, his modified Orc team is going to be bad at re-rolls. 
even though he's got two. So let's see how he fares. Orcs turn one. Right then, guys, Orcs turn one, and as you can expect from a running Orc team, would you call this? Yeah, something like that. Running Orc team, they just charge straight at me. So, I got a few more guys down. Somebody trying to run into my back. But we've got a few people standing on the ground, except that Black Orc. So, all to play for. Let's open up a few skulls, because it's Undead Turn 1. End of Turn 1, Undead. And what have we got? We've got a few green men down. We've got the Shambling Horde marching on. We've got a few people tying this guy up. And no casualties as yet. Most we've got is Dirt Nap McGee there. So, turn two. Let's see if we can get any routes opened up. Right then guys, undead, turn two, and I am still holding my ground. Griff has not managed to put me in the knockout box, so Noah's rocking out at the moment. And, yeah, we seem to be evenly matched at the moment, through poor dice rolls and general blessings of Nuffle. So... We're going into Orc turn 3, and let's see if we can beat the deadlock. End of Orc turn 3, and there's a lot more undead lying down. A few, a few Orcs that have been partnered up with two or three skeletons, but yeah, he's got a guy right on the sideline. So, ball is now open here, and then we can see what I can do with Undead Turn 3. Right guys, end of Undead Turn 3, and we have got a few more areas opened up. We've got a Blitzer that's now in the reserve box, Two blit well, a Blitzer and a Thrower down on the other line by there, and... We've got to try and stop these guys getting any further up the pitch. Ball is still open for now. So, going into Orc turn 4. Right, Orc turn 4. It was very quick because Griff, down to zero rerolls, was very unfortunate to get them both down. Fortunately for him, I couldn't break his armour because tonight I am not rolling any higher than a six i think it is so yeah so going into undead turn four and we're gonna see if nuffle blesses my dice let's see see you on the other side right then guys end of undead turn four and i think i was trying to be a little bit greedy by her didn't throw a blitz for the change but took out the black oak Cool, I was by her, picked up the ball, dodged about, but unsuccessfully it threw to there, instead of there, because he's a dumbass. But we've got a blitzer in the reserve box, and we've got a thrower in the dead box. So I'm quite happy. I'm walking out on this one, so going into Orc turn 5. Right guys, 
guys, under turn five, what do we have here? We got a scrum going on by here. Scrum by here because our blitzer doesn't want to give up the ball. We've got two very brave zombies and skeletons trying to take on some black oak blockers. We got a mummy having a word with a line man. Must be bullying his kids. One nap in the blocker. And one ready to get up. So, still anybody's game. No rerolls on either side. And we're going to see what Griff can do at turn 6. Right then, guys. Oak turn 6. And Nuffle did not bless Griff one little bit. Couldn't do anything by her. Black Oaks weren't even interested in these guys. Somebody was coming in for the scrum. But he made one dodge roll of a six. And then the next dodge roll was a one. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be two sixes. But unfortunately the ball bounced into the arms of a ghoul. So I think I'm going to have a quick turn six now. And let's see what we can do. Right then, guys, it's Undead turn six, and we've got a few people down, but not out. Mummy actually done a blitz, it was amazing. We've got a few people scattered about, tried to foul this player, but it didn't work, and I didn't get any doubles, so that's always a good thing. But I've got a touchdown, baby! Yeah! So, we're going to restart. Before we do, i got to admit, um, I forgot to move my turn marker, which we realised afterwards. It's a legal procedure, so Griff, because I've not got any rerolls, he's gained a reroll. So, we start in turn 7, he's got one reroll, and he's going to try and take out my players. So, we're going to set back up and see what the kickoff does. Right guys, we've reset now, so I'm trying to cap his players, set back a little bit. Well done, Griff. And that's the encore. So, stay away from the soup, guys. That's all I can say. Ball is there. We've both got an additional bribe. So, we've got one bribe to, for the rest of the game. So, Expect a little bit of uh, foul play to be called. Let's see what Griff can do with Orc turn 7. Right, end of Orc turn 7. He has come at me like a steam train. But all he can manage to do is push. He's got a guy out in the open now who's got the ball. Keep an eye out for him. He's hopefully going to go in the dead pile. He's advancing slowly. He's got two blitzers ganging up there. So, I'm going to go into turn 7 now and see if I can dislodge our ball. Just for the hell of it. Right, undead turn 5. Uh, turn 7, sorry. Turn 5. Wishful thinking. Right. We managed to tackle the blitzer. So, you drop the ball into touch, so he threw it out, Ghoul couldn't pick it up, but before that, I'm starting to try and bully the Orc team, see if we can get some more people into the seriously injured box, or preferably, because we know how much I like to say it, into the knockout box, because we want to rock out with the knockouts, so, we're going into turn 8, see what damage we can do, let's go. Right then, guys, end of first half. Score is still 1 0 to the undead. We kind of knew nothing was going to happen turn 8, so we kind of went for trying to take out players, which was very ineffective. It was just mostly people face down in the mud or getting pushed around like girls in the schoolyard. But. We did do jack shit, so we went into the 
second half, we're going to reset, kick off, and do the effects. So, see you at the end of that. Right, guys, second half, and we're just about to start or turn one. But we've set back up. He's kicked me. It's landed close to my goal. The weather is still fine. And the kickoff effect was throw a rock. So, Black Oak Bobby by air is prone. Unfortunately, it couldn't get higher than prone. So, let's get on with it. It's Oak turn one. And let's see if I can hold them off. Right, guys, I said the wrong thing as usual. It was undead turn one. And I don't think it's a bad start. Guy in danger on the line. They're splitting up the pack. Bit of a scrum there. Tying up some of the bigger guys. I know we still got these bad boys by there. But I've got the ball. And it's time to protect my uh, guys. So, let's see how the second half plays. It's going in, into Orc turn one of the second half. Now... End of Orc turn 1, and as per usual for Griff, it's a very quick turn, because the lineman let him down. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to break his armour, so he wasn't able to do much except get his guy free from the sidelines. So, I got a lucky break, I think, so let's make the most of it. Undead turn 1. Undead turn 2. Guy is down on the line again. Got a guy down there. Starting to tie up some of his runners. Got a black oak down. Two black oaks down, which is not, never a good sign. Another blitzer down. Tied up a few of his good runners, and I'm starting to break away right here. So, oak turn two. Let's see the outcome of some savagery. End of Orc turn 2, he said 3, and my ghoul is now prone, hit me right in the ghoulies, but because it went out and got thrown in, and a few bounces later, my boy has got over there, so let's see what we can do, we've got a few people down, a few people up, a few people down, so you know, it's been a fun old game. It's just, let's see what carnage we can do. Undead, turn three. End of Undead, turn three. Playback down. He's staying up in the sky. We've got a bit of a scrum that I seem to be winning at the moment, because it's my turn. It's all changing the next turn. Another player out. He's in the dead box, as you can see by her. So, yeah. One less runner to uh, worry about, but I got two whites close to the touchdown area. So, see if Griff can come back with a scramble defense, turn three. Right then, guys, Orc turn three. What did they have for us? A lot of getting up. And, oh, notice I'm missing? Yeah, in the dead pile. My first dead player of the game. So, looks like he's starting to push back. Managed to get one person in with two goals for it and a blitz, but unfortunately there was only a push. So, it's, I'm not convinced that uh, I can do very well with uh, what I got. But, it's my turn four. I'm at least going to try to get a and get a uh, touchdown out of this. Right guys, end of my turn four. There's a few more black orcs down, but not out. But there's another touchdown. So, it was Headless Ned. He is going to be my new star, even though he's Griff's team. So, yeah, we're going to go into turn five and see what happens. Right, we forgot to do Orc turn 4, so now that we've gone to the end of both our turn 5s, 
let's show you what happened. We've got bunching up. We've got people uh, not talking to each other. They're facing away. We've got Black Oak trying to be harassed by two skeletons. So, anybody's game. We've still got three turns to go each. I've got one reroll. Griff's got none. So, let's see what we can do. It's 2 nil, And we're going to just smash through turn 6. End of turn 7. We've got a player down by here. Which is unfortunate. Because he was feeling daring. And, yeah. It was a nice little back and forth. But, through tackle engineering... I managed to make a space to free up my remaining goal. So, it's going into turn 7. I think I'm just going to have a touchdown by here. And we'll go into turn 8 pretty quickly then. Well then guys, um, end of the turn. But we're going to call it here because of time constraints. We are 3-0 up. Undead had a pretty good go. And just for proof, there you go. He, there was a touchdown. Touchdown! So, 3 0. Um, yeah, it was a really good game. It was good back and forth. Griff, what do you think of the game? Well, once we get some skills, because we're going to do the RBBL, it could all change. So, until next time everyone, we'll see you then. Right, that's it guys, that's the end of the match. 3-0 to the undead. It was a really good game. I know you can't get a feel for it just by the clips, but it was very, very close. He, the th three blockers, three uh, four blitzers, was quite hard to try and work around, but... I don't know, perhaps it's the inexperience of me as a coach. I try to work my way around it a bit. Um, I found as long as my ghoul was paired with a white, minimum a white, he was safe. I know that limits the passing game, but the movement on him is a little bit better. But that's what I found. How do you play your undead? Let me know in the comment section. Because next time Griff allows me to try out his team, perhaps I could give that tactic a go. So let me know down below. If you enjoyed the game, please leave a like. If you disliked it, please give a thumbs down and tell us why you didn't like it. If it's just my annoying voice, just I'm sorry already. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of the show. I want to give a big thank you again to the Romda Gaming Club for hosting. I want to say a big thank you to Griff for allowing me to use his team to try him out. It was a bit different with a throwing team for a change, I've got to be honest, rather than a heavy hitter. But, you know, there's going to be different teams in future and there's a lot more games coming up. And before I go, I just want to say uh, we've got a PayPal and Patreon. We've also got a Teesprings account, so if you want to get your new bond, uh, that's over there, Teespring. There's going to be new stuff coming out as well. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. And if you want to keep in contact, we've got emails down below. We've got Instagram. We've got Twitter. Get in contact. Get interactive with us. And until next time, everybody, I shall see you again real soon. Adios.